What is going on guys? This is Ben here, bringing another Brawl Stars video. Hopefully you're really excited for today's episode. We are going to be showing you guys Carl gameplay early here. He is coming out mid-March. We don't actually have the exact timeline for him. So in today's video, you're going to see everything you need to know about him. Go over all his mechanics, all of his stats, and everything else like that. And I'll give you my opinion on him as well. So hopefully you guys are excited. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And let's get into this. First and foremost, Carl is a super rare brawler, which is incredible because we first got Leon, he was a legendary, really hard to get. And then we got Gene, a mythic, really hard to get. So a super rare brawler is going to be much easier to get, and a lot more people are going to be able to unlock him. So start saving your boxes now, you have until mid-March to get him. But he is a sharpshooter, and then his star power. So his star power is power throw. Carl throws his pickaxe with more speed, allowing it to travel faster and return faster. So sadly, I don't have a way to test Carl without his star power because um, I'm on the developer build to show you guys this footage. So I don't know the difference. I'm just going off all the stats at max level and then we'll go from there. So his health is 6,000. 160 the only other brawler that has like health around this and that is pam and then there's only a couple that have more health than him which is going to be bull frank and primo so he is a he's a upper echelon of the of the meatness uh he's, he's pretty he's pretty tanky so that's really really nice because with him you want to try and get up close and everything so now the interesting part is his main attack so his main attack does 896 damage on hit. It's gonna hit once when you first throw it, like on the initial hit, and then it's gonna hit once again on the way back. So his main attack is a boomerang throw, which is so cool. But it can deal damage to multiple brawlers if it were to hit multiple of them. But now actually when you're playing Carl, you're gonna notice he only has one charge on his main attack. So when he throws his boomerang, it empties it. And then once he gets that boomerang back, as soon as he gets it back, he's able to throw it again. So he doesn't have really any recharge time except for the, the amount of time it takes for his boomerang to go, go to max distance and then come back. But there's a cool thing here. If it bounces off the wall, it'll cut it and it'll actually return to you. So there are some crazy things you can do about this where you could be at, I don't know, right up against the wall and you could literally just keep throwing this and throwing this and throwing this so that's really really cool so say you pin a brawler say you're in, a, in an engagement with a brawler like against the wall you can just keep throwing it and throwing it and throwing it and dealing damage so that's what's really really awesome about this so now since he has to hit it like with his attack on the way there and the way back it doesn't deal a whole lot of damage so the initial boomerang only does 896 um, but if you hit both of your back and forth it does 7 1792 now that's not enough to actually take out any brawlers with just one of his main attacks but if you hit two of his main attacks that's both back and forth then it will deal 3584 so then he would actually two shot technically like four hit uh barley Rico, Piper, Spike, and Crow. So all of those squishy brawlers that are on like 3300 HP and everything. So that's pretty good. But now if you happen to have time and you hit all of your three shots back and forth, you will deal 5,376. And this changes a lot because this will take out every single brawler except for Bull, Primo, Daryl, and enemy Carl, Pam, and Frank. So a lot more brawler brawlers that he will destroy there. So his main attack is nothing to laugh about. Plus, when you do throw it, it has a unique thing where if it happens to go, like you you happen to walk around a wall or cart or roll, roll behind a wall, the, the boomerang will actually come back through the wall. So that's really, really awesome. Gotta get the notes for this one. So Carl's super is called tailspin. He will spin for about three seconds and gets crazy movement speed while he's spinning. And it does 560 damage for every 0.3 seconds. So the total amount of damage he will deal with one super if you land every single spin that you possibly could would be 5,600. So as you can see probably in the first clip, we're doing this against the bull who has at max level 1,820 HP. And then after he was left with 2,520. So yeah, that's 5,600 damage. Now that just happens to be the HP of Daryl. So... We went up and tested it. Would Carl take care of a Daryl at max level at 5,600 HP? And yes, he would. It would be just enough. So with Carl, if you happen to hit your full super on some brawlers, you're basically going to kill everyone except for Bull, 
Primo, Pam, and Frank. That is pretty crazy. So his super does a ton of damage. That movement speed that he gets for a super is actually the fastest movement speed in the game because Leon is the second fastest. Now the thing though is Carl's is very short. Um, so distance traveled if the long run for the super is like, because you guys know Leon's super is eight seconds, so he'll actually be able to run him. But still, it's still, for that burst of speed, it is still the fastest, which is crazy. And that super is really, really nasty. So that's why they decided to give him that extra little HP. Because with Carl, you want to play him as like that kind of rowdy brawler where you want to try and get close to them, be annoying, deal a lot of damage. It feels kind of weird at first because his pickaxe is super, super slow. But once you actually play on maps that are like closer range and have a lot of walls, it comes back to you really fast. So in my playtesting with him that I've had this time with the developer build, it's like he's really good on the close quarter maps because he's just like that Valkyrie brawler that just spins and spins and then his pickaxe is really annoying too. And that added movement speed. Now, I'll talk about it more at the end, so maybe some changes or tweaks I'd like to see with him. But for now, that super is just really, really awesome. So Carl is a fairly simple brawler, hence that's why probably why he's a super rare brawler. But a lot of cool things are in his kit here, and it's really, really awesome that they're incorporating, like, the gem mine and everything. And that kind of leads me to the next point. Like, you guys know, he has the pickaxe, he has the mine cart. He is a very good, we're gonna use, I, this is my speculation here, but he is going to be a very good brawler as a laner in gem grab. He, I don't know, like I said, stated a little bit, like, the close quarter maps, I think, are really gonna suit him very well. But gem grab, I think, is gonna be a very good brawler. Uh, I really do think he's going to be a good brawler in the close range showdown maps as well. The reason for this is because as you guys know, those power cube boxes, where do they often spawn by? Now obviously this is more map dependent, but a lot of times they spawn near walls. And if you remember back to the beginning, when Carl is next to a wall, he can just keep throwing that super over and over and over again. So he is going to be able to take care of power cube boxes when they're up against the wall or an object that he can bounce his boomerang off of or his pickaxe off of he's going to take those so quick now normally if you don't have a wall to bounce it off of when you have no power cube it's going to take you like four shots back and forth to take one box but even so like a lot of times you're going to be next to a box or some sort of objects where it's going to reduce your your length of your throw to get it back to you faster and getting those is going to be awesome now like I said, on the longer range maps, he might not be as effective, but the shorter ones, I think it's gonna be really well. Now, do not be afraid too, to use his super for escape because a lot of times you're gonna engage with your super, like your super or try and finish brawlers off, but you can also use that insane quick burst of movement speed to just get away. Like say you're low, save a ton of gems or something, just get out. You can use that there as well. Now. The new map Siege, I think he's going to be fantastic on as well. Uh, I know Siege is still very new. Not many of you have tried it. You can actually play it in friendly game modes in the update and stuff. So I think he's going to be great in that. He's going to deal a ton of damage to like the robots and everything. He's going to be quick to be able to steal those bolts. So Siege is another game mode we have to talk about now and say if Brawlers are going to be good in it because we're going to be seeing a lot of Siege. Um, in Brawl Ball, a lot of you may be curious what happens in Brawl Ball. He only has one attack. In the new Brawl Ball, when you sh when you shoot the ball, you lose a main attack. Well, in Brawl Ball, he is the exception. He does not use a main attack. So that is very that is very key there because that that's pretty cool. Um, and he could be a good choice for the brawl or the ball carry because you guys know with Daryl when he throws the ball, if he has a super, he can roll to it. You can kind of do the same thing with Carl here. You can throw the ball, use your super, and just catch up to it. Now, sometimes you will overrun the ball and have to walk a little bit further back. But still, with him not using a attack, like a, a main attack spot or attack charge to throw the ball, that's pretty cool. So I think he's going to be pretty solid in Brawl Ball as well, um, just after some testing and everything. Now, in Heist, I, I'm unsure on this one. This one I'm up in the air on. Like... Some of the heist maps, the heist safe is near a wall. So just thinking about the potential with that, but now like it's gonna take him a while to like burn that down, but that damage is gonna be constant until they go and take him out. So I know some of the heist maps though, like they've actually removed a lot of the walls around the safe, 
but there's still a few that have like some sort of objects near it so that's why I'm a little bit like this could potentially be really really good uh, but at the same time it could be kind of bad because who, who, how many times are you gonna be able to just walk to the enemy's base and just sit there and just go ham on that safe you know um, and then bounty I just don't see it um, it's gonna be difficult for you to even really make use of the super with all the long-range brawlers and everything but now if the bounty meta shifts a little bit then we might be talking a different story there so I don't know those are my first opinions on them after some testing and everything but my, my main opinion is I do not think he's OP I don't think this is another Leon reincarnation um, I think he's more on the I'd say he's probably more on the balance side I think he's I feel like he might be in the middle. You guys know how Gene was super underwhelming in in a way. Um, yeah, I think in some standards, some people think he's one of the worst brawlers. And then you guys know how Leon was just way too over the top and way too strong. So I think he kind of falls right in the middle. Obviously, I have to test him more and play against not just YouTubers or bots and everything. But these are just my initial first impressions with him. But I think he's going to be... I think, like, when you guys try him out, you're going to... He's not... A, like, the thing is, Gene is hard to play. Leon is easy to play. Carl is actually really easy to play. It just kind of takes a little while to get used to that boomerang and positioning yourself to be able to hit the brawlers if you maybe you miss toss a little bit. But he, he generally is a little bit easier to play and... Or fairly easy to play, I should say. But... These are my thoughts on Carl, max level Carl and everything. I will have a video up later today going over the entire update, all the little hidden stuff and everything. So stay tuned for that. I just wanted a in-depth video on Carl while we have the developer build and everything just to show you guys him because he's coming out mid-March and everything. So definitely like though and subscribe because when we get Carl, we're going to be unboxing him. We're going to be maxing. We're going to get 500, give you guys some more tips and stuff as we learn him. Uh, all the other update stuff like Siege, all those... The crazy new maps and whatnot and the jump pads you'll see it all here new skins whatever so subscribe for new to the channel stay tuned i hope you guys enjoyed the update pretty much pulled an all-nighter for this one <laughs> but we'll see you guys later